Mullinaires, today I think a record has been officially broken. Almost 80% of the total volume of Mullin Automotive stock did not even hit the lit exchange today. Now let's ask ourselves, why is it that the other side needs almost 80% of Mullin's total volume going off exchange on top of being shorted? And we also know that for the past over two weeks now, we've had an average of about 70% of volume going off exchange. The market today reacted accordingly with reports such as CPI data coming in, indicating that there will be a slowdown in inflation. So we had some stocks popping off that news as well. Let's get back to Mullen. I think it held up pretty strong. If you look at this chart showing the history of the off exchange volume for Mullen Automotive, you'll see that there is a steady increase in volume going off exchange. The white line being the off exchange volume and the yellow line indicating the price in which the price has been steadily being pushed down while the off exchange volume has been increasing. Also, if you check out the five year chart as well as the weekly chart, you will see that the MACD is in the green and has been in the green throughout being pushed down and pushed down to these oversold ranges this whole time. Another thing to touch on is that Dark Pool was originally meant for block trading by the big dogs to trade and not affect the lit exchange. But ever since retail investors swarmed in during 2020, 2021, meme stocks came into play. They, we brought a lot more volatility to the market in which the other side implemented that the volatility that these retail investors are bringing in should be controlled. So retail orders have been swarmed into dark pool, which retail orders shouldn't be in there in the first place. And it is kind of suspicious that we are able to hit 70 and up to 80% almost of off exchange volume soon after we stop barcoding finally. I'm curious to know what the other side is planning to do. Why are they sending all these numbers off exchange? Are they trying to prepare for the big catalysts that are coming in the near future? Or are they coming up on their last days to drive the stock down as much as possible? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Hope y'all find this information valuable. Stay charged up and I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm gone. Go.